scrapbookers this is Megan and I am back today with a new for the love of homemade kits layout so for this one I am continuing the nap time disaster story and this one kind of has the same design as the first one but different if that makes any sense so you can see I am just kind of sifting through all of the scrap pieces of paper that I have. And so I get the idea that I'm going to use up a lot of the scraps on this layout. So here you can see I started out with three photos. In the end, I am only going to use these two. And I really, really love how this works out. And my goal with this page, like I said just a minute ago, or a few seconds ago, was to use up a lot of the scraps. So I am just cutting them down to fit on the layout where they're going to go. And then I'm going to start gluing and layering and just putting everything down where it goes. This layout actually, I think it only, oops, sorry. I think it only took me maybe like 30 or 40 minutes. It really wasn't that long. So I'm just adding this dream big piece of washi tape to that leftover scrap of the cork board. And I'm going to start gluing down the papers so that I don't get everything all piled onto everything and then have to start gluing down. I've been really bad about doing that lately. So I'm going to keep gluing down all of these pieces that I know I'm going to be sticking down. And I, I really, really love all these colors together. The brown, the teal, and the pink. They go really well together. So this layout makes me really happy. And then the off-white background, it's just perfect. I'm placing this dream big kind of in a few different spots. I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it. In the end, I do decide to leave it where it's at right now. And I'm going to build a cluster in that area. And then... I'm also going to build one in the top right hand corner and then the bottom left hand of that bottom photo. So here I'm just going to cut up a couple strips for this uh, cluster there. Actually I just cut up one strip it looks like. And then I'm going to staple both ends and that just kind of makes it easier. I've realized using my tiny attacher makes it so much easier to do layers, smaller layers like that, rather than gluing each layer on top of the other. So much easier. I love that solution. Now I'm thinking about the title. So here I'm actually going to turn it on its side. I knew right away after um, coming up with the nap time disaster layout, which I will link to below. I knew that I wanted this layout to be called culprit number one. And then I'm going to do a picture of Brennan and have um, a layout called culprit number two. And this worked out so perfect. So at first I'm thinking I'm going to put the title here to the side. But because I used the small tile stickers for the, um, the abbreviation number and one, I decide that I'm going to put it up at the top. I do have to Frankenstein a T out of an F, but that works out really easily. And I can barely even tell as I'm sitting here looking at my layout. Like if you look at it super close, I can tell just because I'm the one that did it. But if it's somebody just looking at the layout, they wouldn't be able to tell. So that's kind of nice about this alpha. It made it really easy to Frankenstein a letter. So I just put down the title. Now I'm going to put down the number one. And then I'm going to move on again to doing some more embellishing. I do a lot of circles and banners on this, uh, this layout. I actually go and grab some of the tags that were in my um, 
I think they were in my embellishment kit. I don't think I pulled them from my stash, but I could be wrong. But this is where one of my clusters is going to go down here and that cluster is done. Then I'm going to bring in some more circle elements in this left hand cluster in between the two photos and I'm going to put in a different banner. There we go. And I really like how that looks. So here you can see I did actually grab these from my stash or not from my stash, sorry, from my kit. So that makes me really happy that I'm using up this kit. I really love this kit, the soft colors and just the embellishments are so fun and everything. So I'm really happy with how I put this kit together. So now I'm just going to glue down these two tags and then I'm going to cut them and put them up there in that top right hand corner. And let's see, what else do I do? I'm going to add some of these circle embellishment pieces. And I also grab a piece of wood veneer from my stash. I don't know what inspired me to grab a piece of wood veneer, but I did. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. I'm not sure what else I do because I feel like the video keeps going on and on, but I'm just going to glue all these down. Um, make sure that you check out the other ladies that are participating this month with For the Love of Homemade Kits. I'm super excited I was able to make a kit and I hope you are enjoying the layouts that I'm making with it. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye!